Where the government of Moldova has ordered five Russian diplomats to leave the country within 72 hours. Roman Kosarev, talk me through the details. Believe it or not, we're still kind of in the dark, still trying to find out what exactly uh, these uh, men and women have been accused of. But right now, we do know that five Russian diplomats are being expelled uh, from uh, Moldova. Now, this goes uh, completely in contrast with, with what's been happening in the bilateral relations between the two countries. We know that the president of Moldova was uh, at the uh, Moscow military parade on the 9th of May, the victory parade. He was one of the four indicators. Uh, here and uh, we right now do understand that this looks like a clash uh now, I want to be careful about this, but from what I, I see, it looks like a clash between the government and uh, the president, uh, the government who are very pro-EU, the government who are very pro-NATO, NATO, if you will, and we have the president who is very uh, pro-Russia. Uh, and I once again want to be careful about this, sure. but uh, we do already have a condemnation from the uh, Moldovan president, Mr. Igor Dodon. I want to declare that I'm deeply outraged by this hostile move on the part of Moldova's representatives, and I absolutely condemn it. I understand that EU supporters are annoyed by our successes in recent months, and now they've decided to use direct provocations, risking a significant worsening of Russia-Moldova relations. I also realize that this is probably an order from the West, by those who are worried by constructive and effective dialogue between the President's office and the Kremlin. So we are already getting a response from the Russian Foreign Ministry as well. Uh, they are saying that uh, naturally, like in, in any diplomatic relationship, they will respond adequately adequately to this uh, action. They'll, they'll respond with symmetrical uh, means. But uh, still, they mentioned that this is bad news for bilateral relationship and uh, Russian Foreign Ministry considers this move as a direct provocation against uh, the uh, what you would call a normalization of relationship between Russia and Moldova at this point in time. Now, what will transpire from that? I guess we'll find out in the coming days. Well, Foreign Affairs Analyst Sergei Trifkovich told us the expulsion may be linked to a conflict within Moldova's political elite. I think it was uh, motivated by the domestic politics and uh, the yawning gap between the so-called pro-European coalition. It's a short-term move by a rather desperate coalition faced with a pro-Russian president who enjoys the support of the majority of the people who are completely disenchanted with this so-called pro-European coalition which is being forgiven from Brussels for any trespasses simply on the basis of being verbally and rhetorically anti-Kremlin.